Ladies and gentlemen, digital investors, welcome back to another video. This one will be going over some Ripple XRP and some stellar XLM news along with the worsening dollar and what that is going to mean for cryptocurrencies. We have Crypto.com having some cool things going on in Australia. We'll also go over prices, your fear and greed index, everything like that. Uh, but really, I want to get right into it because this is pretty interesting. The Ripple executive says XRP community, the XRP community could force Ripple to burn massive crypto holdings. Now, I'm sure um, the community is probably, you know, jumping at this on first look, right? Like, yes, let's burn all those coins so the price can go up. But let's actually dive into it. David Schwartz gives us some insights as to how this could happen. Uh, so with that said, if you're a frequent viewer of the show and you'd like to show some support, then tap that like button, turn it blue as it does help with the YouTube algorithm. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell and let's get into it. So the Ripple Chief Technology Officer, David Schwartz, says the XRP community could force Ripple to burn its massive trove of XRP holdings. As we know, Ripple does own more than half of the total supply of XRP. So Schwartz was asked on Twitter whether the nodes, validators, and community members of the XRP ledger could cause Ripple to burn its more than $50 billion in XRP. And the CTO, David Schwartz, says yes, there would be nothing Ripple could do to stop that from happening. Public blockchains are very democratic. If the majority wants a rule change, there is nothing the minority can do to stop them. XRP ledger amendments require an 80% approval rating from the ledger's validators. If an amendment stays above that threshold for two weeks, it is activated. In June, validators on the XRPL no notably voted to adopt a new amendment without support from Ripple. So whether Ripple gives the support, gives the consent, gives the permission, it doesn't matter. Uh, what this is saying is that uh, at least on the XRP ledger, they need an 80% approval rating from the ledger's validators, and they need to stay above that threshold for two weeks. So basically, that's the ratio you're looking for, above 80% for two weeks. And if Ripple doesn't like it, it seems like there's not much they can do. So Schwartz, being one of the original architects of the XRPL, is also clarifying his opinions on Ethereum and Bitcoin. So this is this is different now. It's going over Ethereum and, uh, and Bitcoin. But that was basically the question that was asked by David Schwartz. So they could burn the supply if if we wanted to, right? If we got over 80% of the community wanting to burn the supply, we could do that. Let me know in the comments below if you think that supply should be burned or not. I know we're probably going to have some mixed opinions, and I'd like to see all of them. For those of you who are for it, those of you who are against it, let me know. And of course, let me know your reasons why. Now, let's get into the Ethereum and Bitcoin stuff. So, uh, yeah, he, he gives his opinions on Ethereum and Bitcoin. Coin, he notes he's bullish on Ethereum, saying that the asset has an incredibly strong developer community and the best DeFi ecosystem. He says Bitcoin technology, on the other hand, will need to improve to avoid becoming obsolete. And here we have uh, on Twitter a little exchange. Uh, I can't tell if this guy is trying to troll David here, but he says weird Bitcoin was beautiful the moment it was created. It didn't need a 2.0, but to each their own good luck. And, um, you know, I, I think it was kind of a jab. It, I would assume this guy is a Bitcoin maxi and in this next reply, David Schwartz, like really kind of absolutely destroys him. <laughs> it is, it is quite comical. Um, so, so again, the, he's, he's saying Bitcoin was beautiful. The moment was created. It didn't need a 2.0, but good luck. And then here's David Schwartz, the legend. He says the Ford model T was a technological triumph that enabled visionaries to imagine the automobile eventually replacing the horse, but the model T didn't replace the horse. Bitcoin has to continue to evolve to avoid technological obsolescence so basically saying you know bitcoin either makes improvements evolves or, or it's going to become technologically obsolete meaning it's just like people just aren't going to use it which was uh again guys that was, that was quite the roast right there um yeah i i don't know why people think that bitcoin can exist the way it is it, w without any updates or anything uh, and stay at the top if, if it's just not viable to send Bitcoin, people just aren't going to send Bitcoin, right? The same thing that we're seeing, uh, say, with the U.S. dollar. Now that people are starting to, well, eh, to be honest, the masses haven't really realized yet, but they will. And, and people are waking up to it, right? Me and you are watching these types of videos. I'm sure you guys know that the dollar is losing value, but maybe 10 years ago you didn't. OK, so all of us um, on a large scale are waking up, not everybody, but a large amount of people are waking up. So the same way that you woke up to the dollars losing value, you need a, a store of value for it, things like that. People also, I think, wake up to the fact that, hey, Bitcoin's not viable for everyday payments, right? When it takes hours to send and uh, when the fees are high 
and everything like that, it, it, it's just not viable for everyday payments. Now, a store of value, yeah, maybe, right? It, it, we can see that Bitcoin has already kind of evolved into that store of value because remember that Bitcoin was supposed to be an electronic cash system. We had that fork with Bitcoin Cash. Now, Bitcoin Cash is supposed to be, you know, the quote, the real Bitcoin. So there, there's that whole, I mean, we, we can make 10 videos talking about just that. Um, but anyways, guys, so that's what David Schwartz is saying is that Bitcoin is either going to evolve a little bit uh, or it's going to be technologically obsolete. We also have some cool things for Stellar. So Stellar Lumens adoption is growing fast as more than 800 companies use the XLM blockchain. Now, we'll also note that they're not using the XLM token. They're actually using a token called XIM, which is based on Stellar Lumens and registers an all time high in the number of corporate entities that hold and use it so it's on the stellar blockchain but it is not xlm uh, more than 250 companies from various industries publicly admit that they use the XIM token. And during 2020, Stellar, Stellar Lumens has achieved some of the most important partnerships in its history from becoming one of the three blockchains that will host the stablecoin USDC issued by Censure to being part of the expansion of cross-border payments in Africa. The adoption of Stellar Lumens is growing fast. And as we know, XLM uh, has, has had quite the rally, right? XLM right now is sitting at about 18 cents. And to think, you know, we, we were accumulating XLM between the six cent to 12 cent region for so long, right? We had some really cheap XLM prices and now it is just holding 18 cents steady. Uh, same thing with XRP. XRP is holding uh, above the 60 cent region beautifully for the past week. And I also have this. This was extremely cool. So this is from Unstoppable Domains. As you guys know, I was telling you about them on their uh, Cyber Monday deal they had with their domains, but this is really cool. So they put out this tweet. You can now send XLM to a dot crypto domain using the Lobster Co. wallet. And I'll let this video play uh, while I read this tweet for you guys so you guys can just kind of see how it works. So first, at Stellar Org Wallet to support blockchain domains. They say install the app Lobster.co, select, select XLM or any other Stellar token and send it to a dot crypto domain. Now, they're also saying if you uh, like and retweet for a chance to win a hundred dollars in XLM. So if you guys want to go, the, their Twitter account is at Unstoppable Web. If you want to like and retweet, try to win a hundred bucks. You know what? I might as well do it, right? A hundred dollars in XLM. Why not? So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, retweet this. What should we retweet it with? Where's those uh, those eyes? Those on the lookout eyes. Let's see. Whoops, we accidentally did four pairs. So there we go. But yeah, guys, I'm bullish on XLM. So if Unstoppable Domains wants to give me a hundred bucks in XLM and all I have to do is like and like and retweet, I'm definitely gonna do it. Now, now the cool thing about this that you, maybe you guys don't know is that any tokens on the Stellar blockchain can be sent with blockchain domains. So this doesn't really apply to only XLM. This is new. You were able to send XLM previously with Trust Wallet using a dot crypto domain, but never the tokens on the Stellar blockchain. This is also the first time that a Stellar wallet is supporting blockchain domain so there's no other stellar wallet doing this so this is this is a first time thing so very very cool and lobster is also the biggest stellar wallet with lots of features like a dex buying for buying xlm and things like that so we have the biggest stellar wallet that you can now use to send xlm so this is really cool guys again i always get excited when we talk about things that are making crypto payments sending cryptocurrencies to people as a forms of payment or as a forms of gifting whatever it may be um, easier that gets me really excited because I know every time something like that like that comes out it's just gonna get us closer and closer to that mass adoption or at least that uh, you know mass amounts of people using it which we can basically say is mass adoption so if you guys want to uh, get a dot crypto domain you want to test this out you want to send uh, stellar or any other cryptocurrency directly to your domain name then go ahead and check out unstoppable domains there is a link in the description where you can get a domain if you use that link I do get a kickback from it and I try to put that kickback into the channel in some way uh, but with that said I, I do like dot crypto domains from unstoppable domains I own multiple of them myself and while this is still a new thing while not that many people uh, know about this now might be the best time to go and pick one up whether it's going to be your first and last name your company name or you want to make like a speculative type bet on getting I mean like imagine owning crypto dot crypto right obviously that's probably taken um but obviously that 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 
that's going to have some resale value. So again, link is in the description if you guys want to pick them up and you know try out that lobster wallet. And you can also link this up with MetaMask. So it is very very cool. We also have Ripple planning aggressive expansion of XRP remittance platform in 2021. So you know aggressive expansion. You know what is that? really mean because that, that is that is quite bullish talking right so the payments firm is planning a major expansion of its xrp remittance platform next year ashish Birla outlines the state of ripple odl product and what's planned for the future so this is ashish Birla speaking um this is a, a quite a bit so just bear with me here so he says with the cryptocurrency product you can send into i believe three destinations around the world we're expanding that aggressively in 2020 and 2021 we're going to continue to expand odl on demand liquidity i mentioned this in a few countries as destinations we want to get global coverage of that where possible by the regulators the traction has been so good that 10% of US dollar to Mexico, which is the largest corridor in the world for remittances, 10% of that now moves over blockchain tech, digital assets, and RippleNet. Okay, so 10% of that is moving over RippleNet. So he says, so we've made a pretty big dent in that in just a few years after launching. So this is real. People are using it. It's far superior compared to the traditional world where there's tons of excess capital pre-positioned around the world just to facilitate payments which is crazy that removes a lot of that because now you're trusting a digital asset you're not trusting these large mega banks to move your money i think there are other areas as well you get lending down you get payments down that opens up a lot of other white space for us to innovate as well one in particular is e-commerce i think that with the pandemic you've seen an explosion in the growth of e-commerce and yeah I, I would definitely agree guys a look at amazon look at the big uh companies and look at the companies that are just selling everything online right they are the ones that have thrived when you can't leave your home. He says, so I don't think you have the right kind of financial infrastructure to support those kinds of companies. So that's something that I'm really looking forward to in terms of innovating and building for in the upcoming year. And we've heard Ashish Birla talking a lot about e-commerce and using RippleNet for e-commerce and things like that. And, you know, it just makes me think, you know, how, I mean, obviously they are going to have a very big stake in the internet of value, right? If, if this is really, they're really going to integrate with e-commerce like like they are talking about right aggressively expanding xrp remittance into 2020 2021 right we're basically at the end of 2020 now so so mainly for 2021 um i mean again guys if ripple is successful they are going to have a massive hold over the internet of value it's going to be insane and holding xrp is literally going to be like holding digital gold uh, crypto.com is awarded a license to issue debit cards in australia so this is very cool as well crypto.com completed the acquisition of the card group securing an Australian financial service license and preparations are underway to issue crypto.com visa cards in Australia in 2021 very very cool if you guys are enjoying the video then make sure you tap the like button also make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified every single day when I upload I upload a video like this daily we go over Bitcoin altcoins and everything going on in the crypto space to try and keep you up to date also keep in mind that none of this is financial advice I am just documenting documenting the daily news and documenting this crypto bull run and again if you guys do like daily crypto videos then subscribe and hit the bell you'll be notified each time that i upload here on coin gecko our prices for today let's give this a little bit of a refresh i think it's been a minute so nineteen thousand four hundred and fifty dollars for bitcoin six hundred and fifteen dollars for ethereum xrp at 62 cents and let's take a look at stellar because that's what one of the coins we just covered stellar sitting at 18 cents still holding 18 cents your fear and greed index for today is sitting at 92 so we are still in extreme greed but with no big swing on the price movement we're pretty much just still sideways right so last week 93 but mainly yesterday 92 today 92 right it, it, we're kind of we're in that extreme greed but we also don't really know what it is that we want to do right bitcoin sitting at 19,400 we're you know are we going to really break decisively above all-time highs yes we, we have broke we made a new all-time high uh on some exchanges but are we going to decisively break break the all-time high right now and stay there or are we going to correct back down build up some more support floors and then go and get get there sustainably at a later date um whichever one happens i don't really care guys either way this bull run is underway massive amounts of capital new capital is being poured into the space and we are bullish uh worsening us dollar inflation metrics bode well for bitcoin's continued rally yeah guys as we know bitcoin and the us dollar 
they have a pretty uh, pretty obvious inverse relationship, right? We can go back in time and we can see when Bitcoin was going on price rises, the dollar was going on price drops. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think Bitcoin rises because the dollar drops or do you think the dollar drops because Bitcoin rises? Personally, I think that Bitcoin rises. You know, obviously there's other reasons other than the US dollar uh, collapsing, but I think when the US dollar collapses, it really, it just puts a fire under Bitcoin. It's like Bitcoin thrives off fiat currency dying. With that said, guys, that is the video for today. So if you did enjoy it, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. You'll be notified every single day when I upload. Tap the like button. And remember, in the description, there is a link to Unstoppable Domains. Pick up your domain today, whether it's your first and last name, your company name, or you want to just get a really cool crypto name to send crypto to your domain. Uh, try out that lobster wallet. Send some stellar. Definitely go ahead and check it out. And with that said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you all on the next one.